going on YouTube? Johnny Boomboxer here. Good morning. It's 8 o'clock. Been up since about 6. Finally had a really good sleep last night because it poured rain all night. The heat was just getting almost unbearable. But I was basting in it regardless. I haven't burned yet. Been putting on that suntan oil and uh, aloe vera oil aloe vera gel and uh, about another week and a half coming up to the other week or so coming up to the end of the month here if you watch uh, my very first video that I put out uh, this whole thing was to uh, get ripped so when I started out I was uh, 230 pounds just under 230 pounds and uh, started doing the hiking and um, was training uh, at home during the coronavirus epidemic uh, for a bit managed to get some some pretty good free weights off marketplace on Facebook and and um, did a few sneak trains at uh, my gym and uh, now my gym is open full time. Um, so I've just been going at her pretty crazy, adding in more cardio, tightening up my diet. And uh, just the intensity has just gone up. Rest and recovery has gone up. Meditation's gone up. So you just, as you get more into it, more, the more you got to get in shape, the more you get into the zone. Everything's got to be just on key. You, it's not something you can just wing and it just happens. It, uh, the intensity is you're getting ripped, trying to get your body fat down to about 6%. That's ripped. If you want to get shredded, I'd say like 4 or 5%. So I'm probably about 8% right now, maybe 9%. And uh, I got about a week to go, so I'm cutting, cleaning up the diet a bit. I've gone to turkey breast for my meat and extra lean ground beef and leaner meats and uh, cutting, cutting out the carbs and just doing more greens and more cardio like I said so I weighed myself yesterday and uh, I'm weighing in still at 220 pounds so that's good I mean the, the best thing a, a, a bodybuilder can do is add muscle as you're dieting that's that's the most awesome way to do it a lot of pros they call it growing into a show so you won't even see the scale move sometimes but you go by how you look you know that's why gyms have mirrors all over the place and uh, so I've been going upstairs at the gym uh, where they got some stretching mats up there and I've been practicing my posing so there's seven mandatory poses in a bodybuilding competition so I I hit all of those and uh, you got to have all the muscles contracted and flexed in whatever pose you're doing your posture's got to be proper in order to bring out separation and cuts in between the muscles and have the muscles pop out so um, in order to achieve that look you have to have all the components and that will show you where you're at as far as uh, your level of conditioning and what your body fat percentage is. So I'm getting there. I'm getting pretty damn close. I'd say, I, I like I said, I said I was going to be ripped at the at the end of this week. I'm not preparing for a show, so I, I don't want to do anything drastic and and lose muscle. So we'll see how I look. Uh, in a week and uh, then we'll see see where I have to take it from there 
because I will take it to that level to where I'm actually able to jump on stage and compete if I have to. I mean, I'm not going to. I used to compete in my 20s, but I just, I love, tr I love the training, I love the dieting, I love the around the clock mentality of what it takes to get ready, the survival mode, uh, pushing forward mentality, always making progress. And then it's like an artist, you know, you spend weeks and weeks on a painting or whatever you're working on and finally you get the final reveal of of the product of the all the hard work you put in so I will do some really good uh, pictures with some good lighting and everything else just to have and uh, yeah so uh, I'm gonna hit uh, chest and back today and um, to do some heavy dumbbell presses um, as you're getting leaner you don't want to start avoiding free weights you want to keep the free weights in there because they're compound movements and as you're getting ripped you're gonna be able to keep that overall full big look and look you start moving the machines and cables and all that you're just your muscles are gonna look stringy and not as big and complete so I'm gonna stay stay adequate on sticking to some some heavy free weights and I'm gonna hit some heavy dumbbells today So I'll catch up with you then Okay, So just about to do my last set here Progressively added resistance with 10 pound increments and I'm at my highest set here for uh, incline hammer strength Make sure everything's tight Posture good Abs tight, one whole body unit. That's a set to failure. So I'm gonna do a set of dips here. This is for lower and outer chest. Mind you, I'm 220 pounds, so you can't just frivolously go through it. You have to have everything tight, everything strong. One whole power unit. There you go. Oh, that's uh, 12 reps to failure. I could have did one more, two more, but then you're gonna start putting strain on the front delt. Right. Keep it on the chest, on the tries. Nice and tight. So, just finished my workout here, and of course I didn't show you my whole workout, otherwise I'd have to stop and set up the camera every time. And, I get in the zone pretty good, so I'd have to have a cameraman to do that. Maybe one day I can have somebody help me out. But uh, did chest and back today, and uh, just wanted to show you a couple of my exercises to uh, show you the strategy of my thinking when I'm doing a, a set. And basically showed you two of my working sets, which is the last set um, built up from... Uh, 10 pound increments starting at a lightweight, building my way up, going to failure on every set. Usually accumulates by the time I'm up to my heaviest set to about a total of uh, 
anywhere from six, seven to ten sets. And that's just how I train. And uh, my last set is always the heaviest set, but it's always between uh, between eight and 20 reps. Usually on my heaviest set, I strive for 10 to 12 reps. Any more than that, you're putting strain on the tendons and joints. So you want to keep the muscles working and uh, build muscle, not kill the joints and the tendons. That's the reasoning for the 10 pound increment increases to make sure that you're properly warmed up. So when you're doing that final set, you're able to put in maximum intensity without getting injured. So I'm gonna get back into the van now, get some air conditioning on. I'm gonna to go to my favorite Chinese restaurant. I'm gonna load up on some chicken fried rice. Need some carbs now. I'm gonna be eating like crazy over the next couple days and keep putting on some size and keep getting shred. Peace out. And hey, thank you for subscribing. I really appreciate it. And if you like the videos, please show me some love and uh, give me a thumbs up and send me a shout out. Be nice to hear from you.